Hello, Scorpios. Um, will have to be go, gone back to and reworked, okay? So, for example, if you break up with someone during Mercury in retrograde, most likely you're going to want them back, okay? And hence, there is a blockage here. So you are not going to be able to make this clean cut that you're hoping for. You're not going to emotionally be able to distance yourself because there are still lingering attachments holding you back, okay? Because the Hierophant and the High Priestess are both in the reverse position, unfortunately i feel that wrong timing is indicated here okay so sorry scorpio and you know new beginnings are not going to be able to um, come at the heels of this okay i do feel that um, a lot of you might have done it during mercury and retrograde hence this energy again is it, saying that um you were rushing i wouldn't say rushing you took some time you did a lot of introspection but it's just the cosmic energies are something that is above and uh, that is, you know, bigger than ourselves. So because of it, you know, not heeding your intuition, first of all, and doing things out of order is what I'm sensing with this card. So I'm very sorry, Scorpio. If you're dealing with this, just know that um, that clean break is, you know, is still going to be problematic. There are still things that needs to be wrapped up, okay? So the advice here is don't do anything for the first, I would say the first three weeks. Do it the last month. If you have projects and you're still trying to decide, you have the very last week of the month in order to take care of this, okay? And that's when Mercury is going to be completely out of its shadow period, and that's when new energies are going to come in for you. And yeah, so this is your card here. So this is male or female. This is you inverted. So I do feel that intuition is definitely off for this month, okay? So try to be very careful. If you haven't implemented those new plans yet, wait until the very end of the month. Otherwise, you are, it's sort of like um, buying a car during Mercury in Retrograde and then finding a lot of problems wrong with it and then you have to go back and return it or you have to pay like a huge amount to get it fixed, okay? So it is going to be emotionally destabilizing, hence you're in the reverse position. So um, with all these spiritual cards too, I do sense that... Um, Wow. Okay, so um, with all of these spiritual cards here, we have the High Priestess, the Hierophant, and also um, the card of prayer, the Four of Swords. And in general, what it is is that um, not only is intuition off, I do feel that it is very important for you to reassess the path that you're taking okay and this is not just spiritually but I do feel that um, this is a great card of karma here so this is basically you know being cast out in the cold and not getting the responses or not getting the answers that you want so um, for those of you this is for those of you it's not going to apply for all okay because it is kind of a a somber spread okay I'm not going to lie when you have the tower and when you have the five of pentacles upright it is going to be a very destabilizing month okay what I am sensing is for those of you who are feeling kind of like um, uh, who are either having an identity crisis a midlife crisis or even a spiritual crisis is what I'm sensing all these cards indicate intuition religion structure institutions and even like the inner voice, okay, it's the card of prayer. What it is telling me is that um, the path that you are on is not in alignment with your greater good, okay? So take some time off this month, really. Really take the time. I feel that a lot of you might need it, okay? So take the time to figure out where you are headed before you take that plunge, okay? And I do feel that answers... A lot of answers are going to come in for you once the Mercury and retrograde period is over. So it's going to be over by the 11th, but um, the Mercury is not going to be entirely out of this shadow period until the last week of the month. You're going to have a lot of um, destabilizing news. It can be good or bad, and I do feel that you know this is going to change a lot of the plans that you've made in the prior weeks. It is going to change... Um, where you thought you were headed, okay? So this is not altogether a bad card, but it is a very, um, it 
forces you to embrace change and be to be very receptive to change otherwise it can be problematic okay so if you think about it in that way and if you can I guess like prep yourself to be more nimble to be more flexible and to basically have plans a b c d lined up so that you're not throwing a curveball okay cover all your bases which is something i feel that you're very good at okay so you are very versatile um however i do sense in general for those of you who are off track in your life okay and this is a very small minority of you keep in mind but it needs to be said i'm sensing that um Okay, this, this is a message that needs to come out for Scorpio men in general. So, Scorpio men, if you are not operating at your best, so for example, if you have had a mistress, this is a card of a mistress, if you have had a mistress, you're in a relationship, but you've had a mistress, or for those of you not in a heterosexual relationship, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're kind of stepping out of it, and there has been deception on your end there has also been deception from the other party and you're kind of like turning away from the deception you're kind of like turning a blind a blind eye and hoping like sweeping it under the rug and then things kind of like explode okay so the rug can only hold so much dirty laundry basically <laughs> dirty baggage is what I'm sensing here so for those of you who are in this situation I do feel that you have to confront it head on, okay? The lies, the deception, the lack of information, lack of truthful communication from you or from the other person, it has to stop this month. And it is going to stop this month. So if you can prep yourself for that, you're going to be cushioned in the fall, okay? Um, so that's something that is coming in the works and it is going to be quite strong. So unless we have open, honest communication, new beginnings cannot start for you, okay? For you, for your partner, for the people that you're dealing with, especially, but I feel like more than anything, it is going to be for your greater good, okay? So a lot of new information will come to light in the picture the last week of the month, and you're going to be able to make informed choices about how you want to proceed forward. So don't start anything the first three weeks. I do feel that you're going to have to rework a lot of the kinks. And then you can move forward uh, with projects the last week, okay? This is actually a very good card here. Um, a lot of the times I do read this card when it comes out for clients, you know, it is about being cast out in the cold. It is about for men, male Scorpios in general. Um, if you are trying to like um, communicate with somebody from your past or somebody, there, if there's like a woman for those who are in that type of relationship, if there is a woman that you are trying to um a piece that you are trying to reconcile with, rekindle the romance with, she's not having it. And I do sense here that um, she's, first of all, you both are kind of like cast out in the cold. Secondly, she is walking in front of you and pretty soon she is going to leave you behind, okay? You're kind of like wobbling here and she is just, you know, out of the picture. For those of you who are dealing this, the energy can be reversed in that, um, so Scorpio women in general, if someone is from your past potentially who is very, so you've left this person behind, they were wounded by life and the world in general. They're trying to come back in and they're trying to appeal to you, you know, just by how sorry they look and you're not having it and you cannot accept them back into your life. So that's another way that that can play out is what I'm sensing here. Um, this is like spiritual moral bankruptcy, okay, is this alternative reading to, of this card. And what I am sensing is um, whoever it is that returns because they're at their worst, it's because um, life has dealt them, you know, a, a blow and they can't sustain it on their own. So they're trying to come back in. When people come back in when they're at their worst, that's when you know it's not sincere. When they come back in and they try to reach out to you when they're at their best, then at least you can give it a second chance, okay? But now they're at their worst. I know it sounds like um, almost like 
I guess, cruel. But I do feel that, you know, people, especially in romantic relationship, they might break up with you and then they realize there aren't that many fishes in the sea and then they try to come back in and try to get back together with you, it is going to be very problematic. So already you know that um, they're not sincere. I, I feel like that's a really good indicator of insincerity. So, and then both of these cards, one on top of the other, I do feel it is going to be problematic, okay? A lot of you might be dealing with like divorces even, or like even a loss of property, okay? So for those who are dealing with like maybe foreclosures, being late on house payments, foreclosures or something like that, it is going to usher in a new living situation for you. It might be very destabilizing. It might happen very suddenly. The tower is a, a card of like sudden changes, okay? Sudden um, shakeup in the foundation. So it can be problematic in that way. But if you have been, you know, doing things to cushion the blow, you're going to be okay. And I do feel that this energy is going to play out towards the very end of the month. So you have the first three and a half weeks to really, you know, figure this out and navigate and try to mitigate the effects of it. And I hope you are able to do that, okay? So really take the first three and a half weeks to really try to figure this out. And I do feel it is going to be beneficial for you. Um, aside from that, um, what I do sense is, you know, well, in general, we will, I, I will do the weekly reading to flush out this energy so that, you know, you can get more answers and you can get more insights as to how to proceed forward and at least narrow down on what aspects of your life is um, affected. But I do feel, you know, structural, physical, structural environment, basically your home, your housing situation, especially your main relationship it's somebody that you've relied on for you know through thick and thin it's somebody that has always been there for you all of a sudden they're not responding there is a blockage in communication there are blockages in new beginnings and um, I just feel that you know for Scorpios in general who if you have that um, voice in the back of your head it's kind of like that nagging voice like you're on the wrong track. You're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. If you knowingly are doing something that you're not supposed to be doing, it is going to catch up with you. So be very careful. If you are kind of like um, not sure where you're going and there's that little nagging voice in the back of your head, heed the advice, okay? So really try to figure out where it could potentially lead you, okay? So kind of like um, have a have a grid you know like have a map have a grid and just uh, go through all the pros and cons or even you know think about worst case scenarios here is, is what I'm sensing think of best case scenarios and worst case scenarios and feel it out and see if things are going to be worth pursuing okay based on worst and best case scenario and I do feel that um, you have enough time to like Plan this out so that you can avoid this tower and this five of pentacles being cast out. And a lot of you too. So this is another thing that I am seeing. Um, you are walking away from an unbearable situation. You know, you, you've really had no choice. And um, because of it, there is a sense of like a, a depletion of your self-esteem. Because of it, you are operating from a place of like survival um mentality so you're not well received so for example if you're leaving a job and you're kind of like out there uh, looking for new jobs and you're not feeling at your confident you know most char charismatic confident best in a job setting in an institutional you know any type of a uh, very structured job setting you might not be as uh, competitive as other applicants because of the the energy you are projecting okay so that's the first thing this self-esteem issue is going to be very difficult for you to see kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel okay so that's a this is more of a spiritual type of card so the new beginnings that you're hoping for and you know the I guess like the the helping hand from the angels the unif 
the reunification with the family, the you know revival of love and joy and bliss. It's it's not exactly forthcoming just yet, mainly because the energy is going to. What I'm sensing is, it is going to hit you twice. Okay, is is with this spread. So I do feel like you know really take the first three weeks and try to work this out and try to see how you can navigate this issue. A lot of you might be dealing with like an earth sign, especially a Taurus. If that's the situation for you, I do sense that this person is not going to be very receptive. And it might take towards the end of the month for you to get like feedback communication from them. And um, wow, I mean like the, the only other bad reading that I've seen was, um, was for like the hard reading, like difficult, difficult cards that showed up was for uh, Pisces for last month and that was very troublesome because of all the swords in this spread there are only two swords but we are dealing with the tower at the you know the end so um, I am really really hoping to flush a lot of this energy out during the weekly reading so I hope you're not too worried but I do feel that the energy can be mitigated for those of you who are dealing with this issue um, it is best that you try to you know spend the first three months to figure some things out okay it's kind of like with the Pisces reading have a game plan have a very solid game plan gauge the probability of the best case and worst case scenario and see if something is worth it based on the worst case scenario if, if it's not if the worst case scenario is too damaging leave it out of the equation okay just don't follow it because I do feel it's like Murphy's law It's going to happen okay you're going to have this so be very careful about that and um, be realistic about how things are going to end up, okay? So be realistic about the route that you are taking in life, about the risk that you are taking for those. I'm sensing for like Scorpio men because you Scorpio men take risks. For the women in general, I do feel that um, for Scorpio women, more than anything, um, the partners that you are involved with okay and I started to see this like last month um, boundary issues um, when you love you you are capable of immense devotion love and um, just you know you are able to ride it out through thick and thin with your partner for Scorpio women men too but I feel like more so for Scorpio women in this situation so it is very careful that you devote your love and your affection and you reserve it for the right people okay if you are starting out and your your intuition is screaming out you know uh, don't trust this man or don't trust this you know whoever your partner is whatever gender if your intuition is telling you not to be with this person you really have to heed your intuition because I keep saying Scorpio women have very very keen intuition it is there for a reason because you devote a lot in relationships especially so you are capable of making great sacrifices for other people and because of it you lose your sense of self you tolerate a lot and that's what I mean with the boundaries okay it can be good in that you can tolerate a lot from you know romantic interests or romantic partners but at the same time if it's not worth it, it is going to be damaging for you if they're not like worthy of the amount of sacrifice and love and you know affection that you dump on them they're not worthy of it okay and it is going to deplete you emotionally and spiritually in the long run so be very very careful even financially in some situations so Please take care of yourself and especially protect yourself, okay? Um, be careful about people promising more than they give or, you know, who are not contributing equally in relationships. And especially if someone has lied to you once or twice, they're going to do it again. So it is very important to ask. Um, well, first of all, be discerning. But I do feel that in, uh, you know, close relationships, in relationships in which you are emotionally invested in the other person you overlook a lot of their faults not because you're not aware of them I do feel that you are very well aware of them but when you're in love for women Scorpio men too uh, but the women I, I've seen it many many times you 
give a lot okay you are capable of such devotion that it's um, frankly as an air sign I feel that it's scary so just make sure it is going to the right place and to the right people and um, make sure that when you ask straightforward questions that people are not being evasive if they are being evasive to you it is best to cut them out of your life and leave them alone before this tower situation comes in okay so I said okay or at least know how they can cushion the blow a little bit okay so I hope this has been and in general I hope you have a wonderful month and I will be back for the weekly reading thank you so much for watching